Welcome to Nomoria. This is a game about gnomes. You can kind of tell from the title. This is a uh, kingdom building game, kind of along the lines of Dwarf Fortress, Towns, if you've ever played any of those games. Uh, you can kind of get the idea of what this one's going to be like. Let's see, randomized name. Uh, the Common Kingdom, no. The Crazy Cup, no. The Gut Kingdom. Steed Meditation. Burial Music. The Juiced Land. Yeah, let's go with that. The Juiced Land. As you can see, it's generating a map. That's because it's procedurally generated. Um, although the maps aren't really very huge. It's not like a, a Minecraft or Dwarf Fortress where it you know, just endlessly generates maps and everything. Uh, this one is small enough to where you can hit all the borders of it pretty quickly. Um, but there's still a whole lot of area to explore there. And of course we can make mines going down, so there's plenty of vertical room as well as uh, horizontal. In fact, there may actually be more vertical room to explore. Uh, and we're going to start off with nine gnomes, two yaks, and a couple of crates of supplies. Uh, that's about it. That's not going to last us very long, so we need to uh, get to work right away uh, building up as much as we can. Uh, the larger uh, kingdom we have and the more infrastructure we have, the more gnomes will be drawn to this place. And we definitely want that. So this looks like a pretty good map right off the bat. Uh, let's see. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to chop down a bunch of trees. Uh, so I'm going to start with these pines right here. We right click and we hit agriculture. Go fell trees. There we go. Just select these. And I'm trying not to select the orange trees that are hanging out there. We can zoom in a little bit. So we can just get all of these right there. Those four, that one, and that one. Oh, these are these aren't orange trees. These are apple trees. These are orange trees. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna worry about those right now, but I would like some. Actually, I'm not even gonna worry about the birch at the moment either. I just want those trees. All right? If I were to go up to population here, uh, all these buttons have a whole bunch of stuff underneath them. We'll get into it. Uh, but on population, if we go to a sign, it actually shows us all of our gnomes and what their main job is and then what they're doing at the moment. Since I just selected all of those trees to get chopped down, it says these guys are chopping trees. Um, the game is paused right now, but as soon as we hit play, they're going to go for it. We still have builders, farmers, miners, and one rancher that need to be doing something. So we're going to get our farmers, we're going to have them start foraging. So once again, we right click, go to agriculture, go all the way down here to forage. And we select all these. These are strawberry plants. Uh, good source of food. Apparently gnomes love their strawberries. I don't blame them. Strawberries are pretty darn good. So, I'm not worrying about the oranges and the apples at the moment. Uh, we do want to get a bunch of this. These right here, these little blue ones, they're cotton. So we want to get some cotton and uh, strawberries going. Once we harvest enough of this, we can actually just plant our own crops of it. Right, we got some 
cotton plants in here. I'm mostly just trying to focus on this general area. That looks pretty good. All right. Uh, next, I'm going to need my rancher to be looking after his yaks there. Uh, there's a nice little spot right here. I'm going to go agriculture and pasture. I'm going to select a little area. Let's see, 7x7, seven seven, that should be more than enough room. And uh, you can rename it if you want. I don't really care, it's just pasture. Animal. Uh, the only thing we have are yaks. We have two yaks. Uh, Alpaca zemus. I'm not even quite sure how to get these animals, to be honest. Uh, but apparently you can get them in the game, so whatever. But there we go. Yak. Uh, their food, any straw that we have on hand. And it looks like we have plenty of wheat. We have 32 wheat, so it's perfect. So you can see this turned to green. We've got a population and a sign. So our rancher, he's going to be pasturing the animal. They're going to be foraging. Let's get the miners mining. Now, you see all this gray area right here. This is actually a cross section of this mountain right here. So we can go up and down like that. And we can actually go underneath it as well. Uh, it's all turning up gray because we haven't explored it yet. If you were to right click or, oh, there we go. Left click on it, it says it's hidden. So we just don't know what's there at the moment. Uh, where's a good place to put our mine? I'll put it right like here. So we're going to right click. We're going to go terrain, mine, uh, wall. And I'm just going to select, uh, let's see. This is an arbitrary number. We're going to go three by... I don't want to go that far. We got three by six. There we go. All right. And you see those have turned green. They're going to go after those first of all. Uh, all the yellow areas, what you've selected, the green ones, are the ones that are targeted at the moment. So these are targeted for foraging. Those are targeted for chopping down. Uh, let's see. This is targeted for mining. That's targeted for bringing the animals to it. Uh, the only thing we don't have going on right now are the builders. Uh, they need to uh, build something. So we're going to go build, workshop, crude workbench. All right. Any log and any raw stone. As soon as these um, materials become available, they're going to build a crude workbench right there. All right. So we hit play. It saves it, which is good. Uh, I think it saves every three days as well. So on the fourth day of spring, it'll save automatically again. And you can save any time you want by just hitting escape and save. So uh, hit play. And see our gnomes are going to work. They're they're getting to it. We've got our rancher bringing all the animals over here. Our miners digging it out. Uh, now, we're only getting dirt here right now. And that's not what we want. We want stone. So I'm going to go terrain, dig, stairs down. You can hit the R key to turn it around. See how it's spinning around? I want it facing this direction. We're going to put some stairs right there to go down a level. And so if I scroll down one level here, you can see where these stairs are coming out. So then we go terrain, mine, wall. We just start doing this process over and over again. They'll mine out the wall. We'll go to dig, stairs down. Start hitting that. We want to go down because most likely the stone is all underneath us. Uh, you can also find things like sapphire, uh, coal, copper, other things that we're going to need in order to survive in this land. So. See, dig, stairs down. I just keep repeating this process until I run into a good amount of stone. Terrain, dig. Nope, 
I did that wrong. Stairs down. The mine wall. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna have to go pretty deep to reach some uh, to reach some stone, but that's okay. That's all right. So mine out this wall again. See up here, we're at negative five depth. Uh, zero, I believe, is sea level. So the level that all the water is at. So we're five underneath that. And I believe it goes down to like 200. So we can go pretty deep. We're still in dirt. It's kind of crazy. Should have hit a stone by now of some sort. I've only seen three types of no four. One, two. So there's granite, marble, serpentine. Uh, what else do we have? Lapis lazuli. So I guess that'd be four that I've seen so far. Oh, and bauxite. So five. Uh, there may be more types of stone. I don't know. I just haven't run into them yet. Uh, so if you left click on something, we'll see this is marble. That's good enough. Uh, so we're going to go terrain, mine, wall. And I'm just going to get out a good section of this. I try not to get two huge of sections because uh, there may be a bunch of uh, dirt hidden out there, and I'm, the dirt is definitely not what I want. We just want uh, the stone. So we'll just keep going further out and further out until uh, we either hit dirt or maybe the edge of the map. That's the edge of the map right there. See the... Oops. I don't want that. Yeah, so you see the map isn't really that huge. Go right around the edge of it like that. So terrain, mine, wall. I'm just going to keep having them do this over and over and over again. Right, now if we scroll back up. I was going the wrong direction there. We'll see our... Our crude workbench here was actually made. So we can make planks, chairs, workbench, and chisel. Um, if I were to go to build, workshop, we have wood. We have, whoops, I lost it. Wood. Uh, we have sawmills, carpenters, and wood carvers. Um, these guys, all three of them need a, a chair and a workbench. Um, the carpenter and the woodcarver both need chisels. The sawmill needs a saw blade. The saw blade is made by a stonemason. Go build workshop stone. Oops. Workshop stone. So we have the stone cutter. Um, once again, they need the same things. They need a chisel, a bench, and a chair. A stonemason also needs a chisel, bench, and a chair. And a stone carver also needs a chisel, bench, and a chair. And all of those things can be made on this crude workbench, and then you transport it all over there. In order to make the chisels, or the workbenches and chairs anyways, uh, you need planks. So I'm just going to choose plank, and we're going to say pine log. It's the only kind we have at the moment. And I'm going to hit repeat. And so eventually every pine log that we've uh, gathered so far is going to be turned into planks and that's just fine I don't have much use for them as logs anyway so this guy's already getting to work on that he's just turning them into uh, planks you see our farmers they got busy they uh, 
foraged all of this stuff right here. Uh, our rancher is keeping uh, yaks in line. And our miners are probably done with that stuff that they were doing down here. Oh yeah, they're done with that. I can give them a little bit more. But this is a good place to wrap up this episode. Uh, I'd really like to know what you guys think about this game. And uh, what you think about this Let's Play series. So leave me messages, please. Uh, if you like it, if you hate it, let me know. And uh, I will take all comments into consideration. Uh, I do read my comments because, well, I'm not that big of a YouTuber. I just don't get that many comments on my channel. So I read them all and I cherish every last one. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, I really enjoy this game. And I think this is going to be pretty cool building up our little kingdom here. Um, so in the next episode, we'll go ahead and get started on production of stone. We're going to build a, a stone mason, a stone cutter, and maybe a stone carver. We don't really need one. Um, but we're going to get started on that. And until then, you guys have a great day. And thanks for watching.